may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. <laughs> you said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, epithea, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. <laughs> that was a perfect, that, that was perfect, Judith, that was perfect. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. Yeah. Besides, we should make sure we're ready before heading back into the desert. Why don't we head back tomorrow? Rita, think you can tie up your loose ends in a day? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. She's so cute when she tries to act like that. <laughs> Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I probably had to edit out some crap like back there because I was just coughing like a and hacking like this. Oh my god, just sound horrible. And just I need I thought I was well enough to do some recording, but it's just like oh god damn it man. I don't want to prolong this any longer, dude. Dude, that is so reasonable back there. 50 gold for fully heal and everything. Gee, that is so worth that, man. Okay, so we can just head on back. Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself. I mean, seriously, the Duce. I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is. It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antilochea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antilochea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. Didn't Bellius 
only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Hooray. Well, that was certainly interesting, don't you think? Can a clear CL crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. <laughs> oh, my Rita. Cute and beautiful as always. Oh, okay, anyways. um, So, pretty much, I think it's time to just head back to Mantic then. But, well, something you can also do now is um, you can just... Ah, oh, fudge, terrific. Um, you can just stay on the field. And uh, I don't know why I'm talking over this. But, um, I guess because we haven't had any fighting... In this video, so um, why the f not? Okay. Just... Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, but Judas steals. <laughs> Judas steals the kill, anyways. Fudge rific. Ah. Also, um, you might have noticed I started um having a stealth cook sandwiches now. Basically, like oh, fudge. Okay, so Estelle can make a new recipe called Rice Balls. I just remembered that, like, and I just started doing it recently. Oh, uh, alright. Oof, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Well, hate to burst your bubble, but it's the exact opposite. Kumor. Easy now. Haste makes waste. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children. I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. <laughs> I've always thought, like, when I first played this game, I, I thought it would be really funny if he meant that giant butterfly in the desert. Like, the one I killed in, like, um, part 59 or something like that. Yeah, I've always thought it'd be really funny if he was referring to that than Pharaoh. But, yeah, they're referring to Pharaoh, by the way. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you, Berman, to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. Oh snap, is it time for Captain Douchebag to prove his worth? I was about to say that too. Check it out, it's a wrench. Perfect. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. Uh yeah. No problem, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take him seriously with those glasses. So you did pick that up. Well it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard. Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. 
If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. <laughs> What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach. I will find out who's responsible for this. All right, calm down, Gara slash Akihiko. I've got to hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. Yeah, Cat and Carol start crying if we try to tackle the knights head <laughs> He pits his pants. That too. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I... I, I it just crossed my mind what's about to happen. <clears throat> oh god, it'll be perfect for me because like I it 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 kind of hurts to talk to be honest. But um, uh, anyway, um, there's some serious stuff that's gonna be happening, yo. Like super serious stuff. And then so serious, I'm probably not gonna be talking for the duration of this part actually. Yeah, like 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 everyone nowadays is trying to kill the intel. Okay, you know the knight, and you know the hunting blades. Wait, I think they do. Or did, well, <coughs> if I reveal the spoiler, sorry. Oh no, not the children. Anything but the children. Oh yeah, that idiot was like, he didn't even care you were a princess. But you know, Estelle feels like she has to do something. Because she's Princess Elise. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I kind of want to, but then... But it, you know what? It, it's sad but true. Yeah, what the heck is Flynn doing at the moment? I forget what he's doing actually. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, you know, it's like we're go, you know, but I like this line, actually, um, the only cure for stupidity is death. I, you know, if you think about it, it, it is kind of dark and kind of grim, but it, it it's like, <laughs> it's kind of true. Well, depending on what kind of stupidity, I guess you can say. But once again, we're talking to um Yuri Lowell here. He does um, you know, he kind of plays by his own rules. Well, you know. <laughs> I just said that, dude. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna initiate silent mode. So um, yeah, just watch. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> 